Holista Plan presents Tax Time with Jeff Levine. Let's talk taxes. Hello, everyone. Jeff Levine here. It is great to be back with you. And with our time together today, I thought I'd talk a little bit about Medicare premiums and more specifically the IRMA, the income related monthly adjustment amount that applies to certain high income clients. And specifically, what I wanted to, to make note of here is a few interesting aspects uh, of this, what is effectively a tax, right? I mean, it's something that goes up in price as income goes up. And in my mind, anything that costs more as income rises is really just an income tax uh, one way or another, right? Whether it's a, an income tax directly because it's called that or it's called something else as a wolf in sheep's clothing, so to speak, it doesn't matter. If it goes up in cost as income goes up, it's an income tax. And that's what the IRMA is in effect. Uh, technically, it is the increase that an individual has in cost sharing with the federal government as part of their Medicare premiums, but it's basically an income tax for those with higher income. Now, how high does income have to be before the IRMA begins to impact clients? Not all that much. You need to have uh, this year, in, in 2021, it kicks in for married couples filing joint returns at $176,000 of income, but for single filers, just eighty-eight thousand dollars. So, so not you know, not certainly not low income, but not this is not just something that impacts the mega wealthy either. So, with that in mind, I, I wanted to cover a few quick things here before I turn it over to my good friend Ben Birkin, uh, who will share with you some interesting nuances of the IRMA and how planners can use tax software to I, identify where these peaks may show up at unexpected uh, at unexpected income levels. So in, in short, the few things I want to share with you are first, this is not a, a calculation that looks at um, taxable income, right? This is something that's based on AGI, technically modified adjusted gross income, but essentially AGI is what we're looking at. And so if your client uh, makes, let's say, large charitable contributions or has you know, state and local income taxes that they deduct, maybe they have mortgage interest, none of that helps when it comes to the IRMA. And this can impact individuals uh, as early as 65, in most cases, right, when they begin to go on Medicare. And so you'd say, okay, well, at least if my client is under 65, I don't have to worry about it. Well, that's not true either. In fact, in general, you have to start worrying about the IRMA at age 63 for individuals. When an individual turns 63, that's when you have to start planning around this IRMA and starting to take into consideration how it may impact the, the decisions you make, whether it's accelerating income or pushing off income, etc. And the reason why is while an IRMA, an IRMA is actually impacted by the income two years prior. So for instance, in 2021 right now, most individuals who are being impacted by an IRMA are being impacted by their 2019 income, their 2019 income, even though it's 2021 now. You might say, well, that doesn't make sense. Why is that? Well, in short, it's generally because it's the most recent information that the Social Security Administration has on file to start the year. If you think about it, right, on, on January 1st of this year, Social Security didn't know what your client made last year. You hadn't filed the tax return. They hadn't filed the tax return yet. So it, you have to go back another year. That's 2019. That's where we get this. So the IRMA applies to both uh, Part B premiums and can be anywhere from you know nothing if your client's income is below those those thresholds I mentioned before, 88,000 for single filers, 176 for married couples filing joint returns to as much as $356 plus per person. So in some cases, your clients may be paying up to $700 per month, you know, getting close to, you know, $9,000 per year of additional Part B Medicare premiums because of their income from 2019. Uh, Part D is also impacted as well, and there, the additional premium that an individual can pay this year is up to $77 per person per month, so again, another $150 plus a year. We're talking about almost another $2,000. You know, so collectively, we're talking about nearly uh, $10,000 of additional premiums, or in my 
world, you know, taxes that an individual may have to pay as income rises. The other thing I wanted to note here before turning it over to Ben is that one thing that's different about these IRMA premiums and the brackets is that they are true cliffs. When we think about the tax brackets that a client is subject to, if you're trying to do Roth conversions, just as an example, and stay within the 12% bracket, if you accidentally underestimate other income for the year and it turns out that after your conversion you go $100 over the 12% bracket and and now the client is pushed into the 22% bracket, the, the next bracket up, well, it's not the end of the world, right? Like, yes, you 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 were off on your calculations, but being $100 over into the next tax bracket, no big deal. It means that $100 and only that $100 is taxed at that higher rate. So you're talking about $100 being taxed at 22% instead of uh, 12%. It costs the client literally $10, not the end of the world. But when we're talking about Social Security IRMA, here's... This is the difference. When we're talking about, uh, sorry, Medicare Irma, I should say. When we're talking about Medicare Irma, you go over by $1, and now that premium rises to the next level. It's not a graduated rate. It's you all, you're in that next level entirely. So for argument's sake, if you go from having, let's say, less than $176,000 of income per year to having exactly $176,000 of income, uh, you, you go, or $176,001, you go from uh, having no IRMA to $60 per person. For a married couple, that could be $120 a month. Again, we're talking about you know $1,500 for the year because you went $1 over. Imagine that. Imagine paying $1,500 more for the year in Medicare premiums because your income was $1 over. You know, if you, if you went $1,500 over, that's a 100% tax if you think about it like that, right? You had $1,500 too much in income, so you paid $1,500 more in Medicare premiums the next year. It's a 100% tax. That's not what you want. So being mindful of where these Medicare IRMA uh, brackets land is extremely important when you're looking at uh, how much in capital gains you can take for a year, whether you should be doing Roth conversion, uh, what sort of other income you can look at generating. Maybe you should be looking at replacing certain uh, dividend and interest-bearing investments with things that are more growth-oriented. There's any number of examples that I could point to here, but the, the, the key issue that I wanted to bring to light here is that cliff and how important it is to be mindful of those areas. And the best way to do that is by projecting out for the year using tax software. Thank you, Jeff. This is Ben Birkin, Vice President for Customer Success and Engagement at Holista Plan. And I want to talk about two different ways that you can use Holista Plan to talk about these income related Medicare surcharges. The first one is using the tax report feature which if you're familiar with Holista Plan, this is where we've taken an uploaded return and put together a really nice client facing report that shows them a bunch of key information related to that return. Specific to this though, when we're talking about Medicare surcharges, we've got a box in our tax report that folks can use to show their clients, hey, based on your income this past year, your modified adjusted gross income for Medicare purposes, which as Jeff mentioned, is your adjusted gross income plus your tax exempt interest, you actually fell into a particular threshold, which means not this year, but next year, this is going to be the adjustment that's gonna be added to your Medicare premiums for parts B and D. Now we've got this two different ways in the tax report. The first is you can actually show it by what the adjustment amount will be. So in this first threshold with this sample client, there wouldn't have been one, but for these particular folks, their Medicare, their IRMA related MAGI of about 192,000 puts them in this second bucket which means they're going to have $59 attached added to their Part B premium and $12 added to their Part D premium. These are per person per month. Now, I've got another Easter egg in here where if you didn't want to see what the adjustment was, but just wanted to see the total premiums for Part B, you can do that by clicking on this little subject header here. And we see, okay, baseline premiums are $149 for Part B. In this particular income threshold, it means next year they're going to have a $208 Medicare premium. So this is a 2020 return. This is going to be for 2022. Uh, we can't do the same thing for Part D because Part D is 
all over the place in terms of what the baseline premiums are, right? That's gonna depend on whichever plan your particular client used, but we can still show you the adjustment. This is backwards looking though. We can also think about forwards looking as we're talking about adding income to a particular client situation. Within our range calc tool, which you can get to inside of scenario analysis, we can show you the impact, not just on marginal tax rates when you add additional dollars of both ordinary income and capital gains income, but where the Medicare surcharge thresholds are. So in this particular case, this would be like a 2021 scenario, thinking about what Medicare premiums would be in 2023. Uh, we don't have to worry about that first Medicare surcharge until we hit about $36,000, $35,000 of additional ordinary income. And then we get this $860 per year per person as noted here, um, Medicare increase. Same thing down here on the capital gain side, you'd start hitting that at about the same amount of capital gains. Nice thing is that we've got the thresholds all the way across at both the very first here and the very last here. So you can really see the impact of, hey, if we go over by just a dollar, that's gonna be important. Hope you enjoyed thinking about how Holista Plan can help with these Medicare related surcharges. Hope you're enjoying the series and we look forward to talking to you more next time.